hello students and welcome back hope you have enjoyed my first video now we are we have already learned in our first video about how the creation of the string and working with the integers method and keeping in, in continuation with my series i will be dealing with the string methods uh, in this video here as you can see these are the list of the string method we have in our course starting off with the first one that is the replace function now replace function as you can see is available in two different types of variants the first one being a string replace where we can we are we can replace a word like is with another word like was it, it can be of it can be any word and it uh, the number the length of the word or the given set of character does not matter it finds uh, wherever it can find i s it can be a simple word like in this case it's a different word is or it can be a part of another word like this and it will convert them with was uh, in case if i have a word like this then it will become t h w a s and uh, as you can see here in the example that is i have already been converted to was here the another type of replace which we can use or the another function of replace is the character one in which we can easily see that all the character o will be sorted out and they will be replaced with a at the number of occurrence it can be five time it the uh, occurrence have occurred five times or 10 times or 15 times and all the o's present in the given string will be replaced with a here after replace the next one in the list is the trim statement trim statement removes all the blanks given in before or after the string uh, we have to be very carefully understand this it does not affect the blanks or the white spaces between the string only those white spaces or the blanks given before and after the string will be removed as you can see here that we have a computer words computer and I have, there are two blanks one before and after so before the trim is being used the length is being shown as 10 and after the trim has been used the spaces have been removed and the length have reduced to 8 next one in the series is the concat function concat stand for concatenation easily it just uh, joins two given strings like in ram and sham given out here they both are joined together and a new word ram sham is being formed uh, it can be done using a simple uh, without a function in case we want to do we can just write c is equal to a plus b and the output will be the same now next one in the series is the uppercase to uppercase this function just convert the whole string the given string the given string may have capital alphabet so it may have small alphabet but it will convert all the alphabets to the capital letter its counterpart lowercase convert all the uppercase alphabets to lowercase and this lowercase alphabets remains as it is as you can see in the program uh, here with the output the word computer the everything has been made to the lowercase the next one is a substring now substring is one of a very important function because it chops the characters in the group in a group of characters like here the substring can also be used if there, there are two uh, types of substrings or there are two arguments the we can use in the substring statement the first one being a single argument where in the brackets i have just written three so from the third character till the length of the string it will chop all the characters like here i have given three so the third character is p so if the word is computer it will chop out and print p u t e r if the word is computer is fun it will chop out the whole thing compute p u t e r is fun the whole thing will be chopped out and will be stored in variable b the twin argument where we have to give the starting and the ending point of the substring it will chop it will start the chopping of the characters from the second place it will start the chopping of the characters from the second place and how many characters it will chop 5 minus 2 total 3 characters it will chop like in the example shown here it says m p u and uh, the example is displayed here the last one is the value of it is the last one but it is a very important function because it gives us a bridge between all the integer and string functions in this function we will learn how to convert to an integer number to a string value what advantages it has once a number is an in integer the integer function uh, we have to, we can find its square we can find its cube supposedly we want to chop its character we have to use module 10 or something logic out here but once we convert it to string 
we can use all the string function not it suppose we want to find how many characters are there we can just use the length b dot length and it will give us the answer as 4 we want to chop the character we can use a caret function it will just chop the character and will uh, treat the given number as a string function I hope uh, in the end that you have liked this video and uh, thank you all for your support and do keep liking and sharing for more and thanks a lot.